Where is she? Oh, she's in the last cell. At the very end. Oh, okay. Door. Uh, well, you'll you'll get there eventually, officer. Did she, she say anything on the way down? Get used to it. Uh, she just started taunting me, right, so I told her her elementary so comebacks weren't off, working. Just uh -oh. She's just being okay. a bitch. Mm-hmm. Here we go. I'm not fucking the wall. There's no glory hole here. It's not worth no. it. Nope. 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 Let's put him in an interrogation room. Alright, change your plans, go on to... Mr. Rodney, are you willing to talk or do you want a lawyer? I mean, at this point, I don't give a shit anymore. Okay, perfect. Y'all are just dragging your dicks around anyways. In you go. Go ahead and take a seat. Yeah, that's fine. All right, in, back there at Innocence in the car, you said to me, and the sergeant was present, um, that you were hired by Jacqueline. Yep, yeah. I've been hired most of yesterday and all, and tonight as well. Okay, to do what? There's guns for hire, really. Guns for hire, okay, so did you provide her with firearms? Yeah. Nope, she didn't want the firearms, I kept the firearms on my person. Okay. Okay, so what she are the, the activities? The... So you did the shooting, she did the driving, okay? Well, you tell me. You tell me what we tried to do. Okay, so I have I have body cam and dash cam of a woman and a male fleeing and eluding in an inferno, okay? And then they shot at police. We have the, the, okay. the bullets in custody, their evidence, okay? One hit a police officer's car. Okay. You wouldn't know anything about oh, that, would you? It did hit, okay. It did hit, okay, yeah, it did. Hmm, interesting. Are you, so, that was definitely you, right? I can't deny it, I can't prove it. Holistic well, I, that one. I can prove it, because you literally just said, oh, a bullet did hit, so you literally put yourself there. I mean, that doesn't mean that I was the one that I couldn't have been a one on one standing on the side trying not to run away from the life. Okay, what other activities were you up to today? I've just been hanging with Jackie. Okay, so at this time, you're being charged with Grand Theft Auto, attempted murder of a police officer with a deadly weapon, um, discharge of a firearm in public, uh, possession of a firearm by a known felon, Resisting arrest. Yeah. Okay. And? And? Well, there's probably a heap of other charges that I'm probably going to figure out a bit later. I don't know how you have a cell phone, considering we took it one off you. Second. Give me one second. Ignore that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to change, change something real quick, so it's not... There we go. This way you don't get pings anymore. Get the weird ones. Alrighty. Okay, so what other activities did you get? I've already got enough on to charge you. I don't really even need to be in here and offer you a deal or anything. I'm, I'm trying to help you out. If you give me, you tell me honestly what happened. She stole the car. I just, she stole the car. I just shot. Okay. Whereabouts is the car now? Um, the little inferno that you want or the orange one? Uh, we'll start with the orange one that was stolen first. The one that shot at police. That one, that one's long gone. You ain't getting that one back for a lifetime. Right, where's it long gone to? Probably all over the state by now. Chop shop, you know. We got paid. Okay, what about the black yeah, infernus with the know. white stripe that fled and eluded the police about two or three times tonight? I don't know where that one is. That one's probably wrecked out on a highway, picked up by a wrecker, and then they junkyard. Okay. Um, he, he had a phone on him, correct, Dom? Uh, I... I don't yeah, know what? Phone? Yeah, mobile, phone. You toss that. 
Uh, I know I found the bullets, the ID. Um, I didn't fill for a, I, I didn't fill a phone anywhere. Wasn't wasn't a phone on me. There wasn't a phone on you. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, you, have you rang Have you rang anybody today, sir? Nope. No. Okay. I'm gonna let that one go because really I don't care about it because um, nothing really happened. It was really boring. Um. All right. So what's why does Jacqueline need you though? That's something about a cop and something revenge, something like that. That's about all I know. Revenge for what? Cop revenge and protection. I don't know. So this is this is how it went. She came up to you. Like, how did she even contact you? Phone, email, in person. She contacted. She contacted me via some services that I have, and she heard that I was a pretty crack shot, which apparently I proved myself by hitting a cop car without even meaning to. Um. You hear that? He thinks he's a good shot. Um. Okay, so so Jacqueline, she hits you up and she's like, "Oh, I need protection because I'm I want to get I'm you know I want to hurt a cop and or kill a cop or whatever, and I want to do this and that." And you were just like, "Yeah, yeah, babe, why not? Let's go and do it." Yeah, basically, she offered me a good pay, and I took it. How much does she even offer you? I'm actually really intrigued. Five dollars, ten dollars? You'd probably do it for two dollars uh, fifty. Well, nope. Let's say that. That that first car was part of the deal. Uh, was it? Split the money between us. Did he have any cash on him, Dom? The car. And... Was that a no? No. Hmm. Pity. I put it all away. Whereabouts? It's in my bank account now. So now we have possession of a stolen vehicle. Selling. That. Stolen yeah, property. The car was worth twenty five hundred. The crash was twenty five thousand. Split that between two people. Figure it out. Mm, I'm not worried about the money. Your accounts will be seized and all that, so it's not bothering me too much. Um, I'm blown away by your IQ, sir. It's, it's outstanding. All right, he's all yours, Sarge. I'm done with him. Well, I guess now we need to go back to the cell. I got nothing else. Uh, where's your friend? Robert? Okay, I got our charges done. Yeah, where's yeah. your friend? Uh, 1025. Metro TR2 in route as well. Apparently a car was rammed off the road in Mirror Park. Oh, Brandon, your vehicle is a little fucked. It's raining, we had to come back and get our jacket. That thing is fucked up. So we'll go ahead and head over to um, Mirror Park. And obviously it is raining. Metro 444, you can show me 97 in the area. Get through some of this traffic. X ray SUV or something? We'll check once we get a bit closer. Ryan will probably have some more information once we get on scene. We got a little bit of pace here.
Metro TR2 1097 in the area. The guy nearly hit me. I thought there was a Huawei Pacific cars there, I think it's just one. I think it's just one, we're gonna have a charger. We'll get out and we'll see what's going on here. Fifty or so and he was coming up around. <laughs> Ryan's okay. got his umbrella. Alright, uh, hey, did you get a look at the plate or anything? Well, he kind of put me into a tailspin. Okay, what direction did he go? Uh, he was... that way. Oop, that, okay, my probably. bad, muscle spasm. Oh my. I think I'm going to head over to the Ran hospital and get that checked out. Oh my. Gosh, yeah, that's a, bit, that's a bad one. Ah, uh, a little bit. I think it must have gone north. Okay, so uh, so you don't think that you know who this person was? I don't recognize him. Looks like he was just in a big right. hurry. Okay, well I think the best thing for you to do is going to be to file a claim with your insurance company. Um, and, you know, we'll get your information. And then uh, we'll see if we can find the person involved. Yeah, he was hanging around a, uh, a white Tahoe. That one did have a ram bar and it looked like it lights it too. TR2, you want to wrap around back here? What do you mean he was hanging around? Do you see where they pulled out of? Well, like they were just following each other. The white Tahoe oh, they... was in front of the black vehicle. Tahoe moved out of the way and the black vehicle came up. Okay, so so they both seem to be working it working together. Oh, it might be two vehicles That's involved now. I can guess. I mean, why else would you move out of somebody else's way and let them come up and take out a car? And you said the Tahoe is white and it had a ram bar and lights on it? Like emergency lights? Um, it just looked like a, like two little separate ions in the front of it, up on the visor. Okay, were they, I mean, did you see, were they on? Were they red and blue or orange? Nah, he didn't have them on at all. Okay. Is it an older Tahoe or a newer one, like what you like what these guys pulled up in back here? Nah, that's an older one. An older one, okay. All right, well, we'll do our best to see if we can find them. In the meantime, I suggest that you contact your insurance company. Do you need us to call you a tow truck or anything, or is the vehicle drivable? I think it's still good. It's just got the back tail light out though. Okay. Well, that's all right. You'll be able to get it home. Uh, you seem like you're fine. Uh, do you need us to contact an ambulance or anything? Have you checked out? Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm all right. You might have given me a little bit of whiplash and put me into a spin, but... Okay. Uh, do you feel like you're okay to drive? Yeah, I think I'm all right to get this thing back. Okay, so if... If it is something that you feel like you want to get checked out, and you but you feel like you're okay to drive, just make sure that you go to the uh, the hospital pillbox and get checked out. Um, otherwise, do you have a uh, do you have a telephone number that we can contact you at? Uh, yeah, let me get this out. Real quick. All right, so number's gonna be three one one. Eight seven five nine. Okay. All right. Well, here's my card here. And again, if we find anything, we'll let you know. All right. I'll try and get this thing back. It's up in the hills area where I gotta get this thing back to. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you for coming out. You're welcome. Stay safe. Hey. Thanks, guys. Yep, you too. Um, what sort of vehicles? Don't are know that I needed a. Uh, tactical response but that's okay um so it's gonna be a um she said it's a black in color suv could have possibly been a truck with one of the uh with like a bed cover on it um gonna be looking for uh front end damage to that because i guess it it pitted her 
which or it pitted him, which you could see on the back there, the taillights missing and the back windshields all busted out. Uh, and then it seemed to be working with a white Tahoe. Uh, oh, Tahoe's going to have, have uh, old, yeah, an older model Tahoe with a ram bar on it and uh, possibly uh, emergency lighting. Okay. So um, uh, she didn't get any plates, she didn't get any descriptions of the drivers, nothing like that. She said it went northbound, or didn't he, she? sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, he said it went, uh, he said it went hey, north, sorry. yeah. Alright, yeah. I'll keep my eyes out then. Alright, thank you. All I'll right. go ahead and put it, I'll put it over the radio, we don't have much info to go on, but I'll put it out there. Yeah, I did see a white 06 looking Tahoe with a ram bar earlier down in Vespucci area, but that was a couple of hours ago. Don't know if it's the same kind of vehicle, the same vehicle. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it had a ram bar and uh, possibly emergency lighting on it, then we may want to swing back around through there. Yeah, we'll do. Alright. Metro TR2 back to tonight. Metro TR1, same traffic. Eight. TR2444. Go ahead. Hey, do you mind if I get a ride? County tow came and picked up my car. Yeah. Can do. Alright guys, we're just going to drop Brian back off his car, <laughs> apparently got picked up by a tow. So we'll drop him off at the station and then we'll get back out on the search for the the pickup in the SUV. 2, just off a highway, we're going to be 56. in the uh, apartment complex parking lot. 10 four, 10 56 miles. I don't know if I was too far, I think I was close enough to just to get him. Might let him off with a warning if not. So he has to say. If this light ever goes green, goddamn. What is going on with that light? Metro TR2 1050 westbound Harwick Avenue, nearest postal 582 on a black four door 06 Tahoe. TR1 will be out with me. VCW. VCW. Bill Turner. Inactive warrant. Metro 444 is 1097. Hi sir, Lieutenant Collins with the LSPD. You got your license, registration, and proof of insurance on you. Uh, yeah I do. Uh, just give me one second. Reason for your stop is I clocked you doing 56, I believe, in a 35. 44 to a Oh, that's my bad. I'm, yeah, I'm still getting used to this thing. Red line, red line, red line Sorry, what was that, sir? My radio was up a little loud. I'm, I'm still getting used to this Tahoe here. I got it in an auction. Right, what's the name on the ID? Uh, it's gonna be Bill Turner, sir. Alright, you in a hurry today? Uh, a little bit. Like I said, I just bought this Tahoe. It's for gonna be for a construction company because it's got. I changed all the uh, reds and blues out to uh, ambers. Right, you mind flashing them for me? Yeah, yeah, not a problem. All right, you can kill him, sir. All right, was this was this vehicle a different color at any stage? Blue or green or anything like that? 
Uh, it was white, but do you know like that Plasti Dip stuff? That's like that plastic that you can just peel off. I did that really quick because, I mean, I really didn't like the white originally with it. He just submitted it to me. Good. All right, just hang out, Mr. Turner. I'll be back with you. All right. Hey. He just said to me that that had that white peel tape on it to begin with, and he just peeled it off recently, in the like in the past hour, uh, thirty minutes or so, I guess. Oh, uh, so it was one of those, you know, like yeah, vinyl so, coverings that you can wrap your vehicle in. Yeah, so that vehicle could have very well have been the vehicle involved, and he's just gone and peeled the tape off. That is very possible. Can you get hold of 444 or something and find out um, which vehicle was the one that did the ramming? Uh, A I'll run him again. 444 from PR1. PR1, go ahead. Can you advise which vehicle was the one that rammed? Alright, so he's got an inactive warrant. Uh, 10-4, I believe it's going to be the vehicle that I have stopped. Um, the Silverado is going to be the one that did the ramming. He's got a new bumper on the front. 10-4, uh, we have that other vehicle possibly with us. They're in a traffic stop just uh, in there. I don't know if you heard, but it sounds like it was the Silverado that 202 had pulled over that did the hit and run. Alright, I'll say this guy knows anything. Hi, right, Mr. Turner, have you been to Mirror Park at all today? Uh, I was passing through there because there is like house construction up there. Um, I've got a friend that's doing that and I decided to show him this because we're going to be running vehicle up there. Right, you happen to witness anything that, um, you know, crazy up there? An accident, maybe a traffic accident or see anything suspicious? Uh, not, not anything suspicious, but there was a black truck just just flew past me, that's pretty much it. A black truck flew past you? Okay, you didn't see a, a Dodge Charger up there? No, I didn't. Alright, I'm gonna be really honest with you, sir. You've told me that this vehicle was white, and you peeled the tape off it, and now it's black. You've just confirmed to me that you're in Mirror Park, and we have a, a victim claiming that a um, black Silverado-type looking vehicle with a bed rammed her off the road, and there was a, a black looking, uh, sorry, a white looking Tahoe with um, lights in the front um, that moved out of the way or something, so that she could be, uh, sorry, he could be rammed off the road. I mean, I don't, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Alright, just go ahead and say, like I said, a, a black truck. Alright, I want you to move back over here to the side of the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you got anything on you that could stick Pogo or us? Uh, I don't believe I do. Alright, do you mind if I search you? Yeah, 110%, go right ahead. There's, there's nothing in the car, you've got no guns or anything in the car? Oh, no, 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 that's in the, uh, that's in the Conquet that I've got stored up in Sandy currently. Alright, you're clean. Do you have any issues if this, um, officer just looks through the windows and stuff through your car? Oh yeah, he can go straight through. Alright. Alright, so you were in Mirror Park, you saw a black a black looking Silverado car fly past you. Whereabouts was this? Um, I think right after the construction zone, because I was leaving. Okay, was this going southbound on any road? Northbound, eastbound, westbound? You got a street name or anything? I think I think it was going west, but I'm 110% sure. Like I said, it flew past me. Alright, what street is the construction zone? Uh, Nolka, I believe. Alright. Hey, are you right to just watch him? I'm just going to go and talk to 444 for a sec. Yeah, I can watch him. They should be just up here, so we'll go and chat to them. 
Might just jog because it's raining. Kind of like a, kind of like a hat there. Hey, Kim, can I talk to you? Yeah. Who? Me? Uh, uh, yeah. Um, this guy over here, he claims that he was down in the construction site, um, in Mirror Park, and he claims that a black-looking Silverado with the bed flew past him in Mirror Park. Which fits the description of that vehicle over there. Okay, did he get a description of the driver, or a plate, or anything that can, we can verify that it was this vehicle? Uh, I can ask Because, him I mean, that. other than this guy's... Other than this guy's story being pretty fishy and the fact that he's got a new bumper on the front of his car, I mean, it's all circumstantial. We don't have enough to do anything. All right, I'll ask him that. He also claimed that his Tahoe had that white peel tape or something on it, so he peeled that off and now it's black, which is the reason the Tahoe is black. Oh, so it, it was white or it appeared white, like, not too long ago? Absolutely, it was white, and now it's black because it had the peel tape on it. So he's peeled well, that off. Okay, how does he know? How does he know this gentleman? I haven't asked him that. I just wanted to this get a bit back more here. of the story. Of what was going on with this guy as well? Okay. Right, oh. Yeah. Uh, right now, I mean, we nobody has any plates or anything that show this guy being. Um, if you want, you can come chat with him anything, and see if so. he knows what the guy looked like. Oh, wrong button. Mr. Turner! Mr. Turner. Yeah. Now, uh, this officer has some questions for you. All right, hey, yeah, sir. Uh, did you happen to get a look at the, at the uh, person who was driving the Silverado down in Mirror Park? No, I did not. Like I said, it just flew past me and it kind of shook me up and I didn't really get a good, good glimpse of it. All I knew was just a black truck that flew past me. Okay, did you take off? Were you were you chasing after him or anything like that? No, I wasn't. Okay. Not particularly by this guy's story either. But uh, but it was you and a, and some kind of black Silverado. Did the Silverado have a have a a bed cap on it? Uh, it looked like it, but like I said, it was all black. Like at some trucks, it just all matches in together. Just matches all in yeah, together. Yeah, I was saying. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, not a problem. You want us to cut him loose? So, his vehicle definitely matches the description. He said that it yeah. was white. Uh, it's got the emergency lights on. It's an older style Tahoe. That absolutely matches the description uh the silverado matches the description of the vehicle um but other than that you know there's nothing to go on there's no damage other than the fact that the bumper was recently replaced i mean that might be enough for us to bring him in on suspicion of hit and run and then we can try and place him at the scene later mm, hang on is it just the bumper that was replaced, or the grill that was replaced as well on the truck? Uh, it just looked like the bumper to me. I wonder if he has any paint or paint chips or flakes or anything up in the grill somewhere. Because if he only uh, replaced the bumper, I guess I could. I guess I could look a little bit better. Yeah, if there's nothing there, then then I don't know. You might have to cut him loose. But if we can find out where he got it fixed, we might be able to go and get a bumper that matches that vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright. Hang on, she had a pretty smashed Thank you. up car. Uh -huh. I'm just having a brainwave. Yeah, yeah, her back end, her back end was pretty smashed I, I've up, I've seen yeah. cars hit a garbage can in the airbag deploy. You, you think it's weird that an airbag wouldn't deploy on a crash like that? On a new vehicle like this? Uh, I, I don't know. You never know with those things. Is he allowing you to look at them? Yeah, yeah, he gave me permission to search it. I didn't find anything on the inside. He's got a pistol in there, but... Um, and a flashlight, but he's got a registered firearm, so...
Yeah, airbags would have gone off if he hit someone. Like, that charger was pretty banged up. My bet would be there'd be an airbag that was deployed. Yeah, I did uh, actually look at here. Oh yeah, that looks like some paint flakes up in that grill part there at the top. Yeah, yeah, it does. Hmm, well, I think that's enough to take him downtown, though. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and... Alright, I'll go and cut my guy loose. I haven't really got anything else to hold him for. Alright. Hey, sir, can you do me a favor? Go ahead, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Okay. He's going to jail. What did I do? What did I do? What didn't you do, sir? Well, but it doesn't have all the police stuff on it. I took all that off. All right, Mr. Turner, yeah. my, our apologies for having you out here in the rain. Um, here's your oh, ID no, and all that here. back. I'm not going to give you a citation for the speed to slow it down, okay? Um, and yeah, you're free to go, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience of standing out in the rain. Oh, no, you're fine. I, I completely understand. You guys are just doing your jobs. Absolutely. All right. Have a safe one, sir. All right. You too. Uh, the guy up there is going to jail. Uh, is that the hit and run guy? Well, I had a yeah, I had a brain idea, a brain wave, and I was like, the damage to that charger, surely the airbags would have been deployed, but they looked okay, surprisingly. Um, but we, huh. he got the front bumper replaced. He didn't think about the grill though, and there's paint up in the grill. Uh, paint transfer uh, from the yeah, other vehicle. The bumper, not the yeah. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Yep. So he's you with the smart ideas. Well, yeah, I have them every now and again. Yeah. Speaking of smart ideas, you ever go on that date with that doctor? No. Uh, still pending. Uh, good mm. luck with that, sir. Well, my test is clear, though. I don't have any diseases or anything, so that's good. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that was mm. that was quite a wake me up for you, wasn't it? Yep. Anyway, I gotta go. You know. Yeah. Yeah. See you out there. Mhm. <laughs> Fuck you, Brandon. <laughs> Metro TR2, show me back to name. Almost said TR1. Metro TR1, same traffic. Alright, guys, so he's going to jail. For, well, at least we got one guy, and we're happy with that, so. Yeah, we're gonna be 10 8 off that. Um, we've got no other pending calls or anything, so. We'll just hit the streets and keep looking for any other crime going on.